I think we got a winner. This is Dave with the Crafted Channel. We've got another back of the truck special. I normally reserve these for used antiques, but this time it's something new. What do we have here? This is the only one I can move. 20 ton shock press from Harbor Freight. Been working on this pulley. Don't panic. I want to see what kind of pushing power a lathe tailstock might have. Not enough. Look. And I have to have a shock press to uh, broach the keyway. So that's the next thing we're going to be building on the Crafted Channel. Central Machinery 20 ton shop press. I'm going to put it together stock to begin with and then we're going to do a series of videos on all the really cool modifications. And we're going to see just how cool we can make this shop press. Before we begin it's important to note how heavy this is. Uh, this, is this box here is 69 kilograms. I believe it's about 2.2 pounds per kilogram, so that's roughly 150 pounds. Um, this package here, I can pick it up, but it's 12.5 uh, kilograms, so that's every bit of uh, 27 pounds. So I'm not going to lift this and drag this big box into my workshop. I'm going to open it right here and take the pieces out one by one. There's no point in any unnecessary suffering when you're doing a project. Well, there's nothing in this package that's low in weight.
I've gone through the entire checklist and everything is here. Here's all the fasteners, the arbor plates, support pins, springs, uh, hydraulic jack. Here's all the major steel frame components. It's time to put it together. Here's all my tools and all my hardware laid out ready to go. You're going to need a 17 millimeter and a 24 millimeter socket. I'm using half inch stuff here. I've got a short extension in case I need it. You need a 14 millimeter for the uh, for the nuts on the spring retention eyelets. If you don't have a 17 millimeter and a 24 millimeter wrench, you can use uh, 11 sixteenths and 15 sixteenths. And uh, the large sizes for these fasteners, the smaller sizes for these fasteners. Um, I don't have a 24 millimeter socket, so I'm going to use my 15 sixteenths wrench, which fits these fasteners a little snug, but it'll work just fine. Let's get busy. I've run into a little problem. It's out of square. These plates here, at each end of this beam, is what's holding the thing square right now. And they're probably not welded on at 90 degrees just perfectly. So I'm going to use a ratchet strap to pull this and skew and slightly tweak these until it's straight in its relaxed position. And then we'll tighten up the bolts on the head. Now I'm going to go over to try to bend it. See if we got it straight. Nope. That's quite a bit over. I think we made a little bit of progress. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. One of the reasons sometimes Harbor Freight tools leave an impression of cheapness is they don't assemble things properly in the store. Uh, in the store where I went to buy this, they had the little tiny bolts that were on the feet up here. The thing was all floppy. It wasn't tight. It wasn't assembled properly. So you got to look through that uh, in order to see the possibilities of a tool. I think it's about time to stand it up. Look what I forgot to put on. It's a known issue that these are not threaded down far enough so you can't stretch the spring far enough. You 
can solve that with a washer and a tube. This is just about an inch long piece of plumbing pipe. Allen wrench needed. I believe this is six millimeter. The holes on the plate are a little too close together. We're going to fix these holes. I need to file them inward a little bit. Pushing the file that way, these holes are a little too far apart and there's not enough clearance. That was just enough. I think we got a winner. I'd say overall it was a satisfying build. Everything fit together pretty good. Had to uh, do a little bit of tweaking, which you saw me do with the strap. Lost a washer, found it later. That's the only part I have left over is the washer I replaced. There's modifications that people like to make to these, and I'm going to do those. One of those things is I'm going to get the air operated uh, cylinder here. We'll do that here in the future. I'll probably cut these off, eh, but I have to find another way to put it together if I cut them off. This fits sloppy, so I'll turn up a uh, collar to fit there. Uh, some of the fittings back here on the pump have a lot of play in them. I mean, you can move it about that far without any pumping action happening, so I'll probably uh, detail that. Unless, of course, I get the air cylinder first. I think it looks pretty square. It's pretty solid. 
I mean, other than I've got it on a little bit of uneven ground, and now I can do some work with it. It's time to broach that fully. Work on your workshop. Save money where you can so you can have a good workshop and you can have a life making things. This is Dave on the Crafted Channel. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe, share my videos, give me a reason to continue.